Here's a little update for you guys. What I'm doing now, uh, the last few days I've been working on this box and that's almost finally pretty much done. Uh, I gotta paint it and whatnot, but now um, in a previous video I showed building this motor, but the cam was actually too big and my valves were hitting my pistons, so now I have to put in a different cam. I'm not putting in this cam. This is just an old used cam. I just got sitting there just because that's where I put it. Um, I got a new cam over in the box over there. Pull this engine out and re-go through it again. Uh, set everything up. Um, so that's been one of the big holdups is that cam situation. And then I also noticed that my steering was backwards, so I had to try and fix that. And I flipped this arm up and made the steering rod, but then I ran it through the motion. It had a shit ton of bump steer, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get a different box that steers reverse of this with the same style, same mounts. It just turns reverse. Um, got the nitrous lines ran. You can see the solenoid down in there. Got the, the Hearst line lock, roll control. All my fuel lines are all plumbed up. Got them all ran to the back. Brake lines are all ran pretty much. Uh, let's see what else. I started doing the wiring. I mounted the fuse box. Mocked up the shifter. You can see I gotta build a floor still. Need to do glass, or plexiglass, whatever I'm gonna do about that. Fittings, run my lines, blah, 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 blah. And another big thing I've been having an issue with is this compressor, or uh, this mount here. Originally there was a power steering pump that mounted here, and it had a vacuum pump. Well, what I wanna do is I wanna run an air compressor because the Cummins 5.9 came with an air compressor uh, on the big truck applications, but you see this motor mount here on the big truck applications the motor mount is in front of the engine so you have more room for a compressor so I'm trying to find a compressor that I can either modify or make work in uh, this small area and that's kind of become an issue uh, and then I have to figure out a power steering pump too so it's been kinda kinda slow progress and I'm waiting on some studs from the sheen shop you can see right here that there was this um, just a regular bolt that holds in these valve covers. Well, for right here, I wanted to be able to stud this so that I can tighten down the valve cover and then I can tighten down this bracket to that stud. So I'll have pressure going down on the valve cover and then pressure another nut holding this in. Four links all adjusted. I gotta put the drive shaft in. I have it, but I haven't put it in yet. And then add another loop, a thick loop. So if she goes bang, she don't go bang into me. <laughs> Uh, I gotta add some more bracing to the roll cage, probably up that way and that way. Uh, and then I'll, I'm gonna add some that's actually removable. And along with the arms that come down, those are all gonna be removable. I've been kinda, I don't know, tinkering at it, but nothing real serious. Been kinda busy, preoccupied with other things, so sorry about the wait between all the episodes, but I'm gonna keep trying to run through it. Uh, here is my lower hose, T2K. My lower radiator hose goes kind of like this, if you can picture that, and then it goes into this black one, so it turns down, but the top one, I have to weld those. Uh, it's 18 gauge, I didn't think it'd be a problem to take this, but I had a buddy try and take it and it blew right through, so I'm gonna actually have to try and make this, which is gonna be a treat. Was I went and patched this up just with some, uh, some stainless wire that I have set up my welder over here. This is 030, uh, I would have preferred to have 023, but I had this roll sitting here, so I'm using this. And what I'm gonna do, you can see I've already done a little bit there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way around on all these and seal it up so it has that uh, pie cut appearance to it. This isn't ideal, but it'll work good. Uh, it keeps me busy for a, an hour or two at least anyways. So uh, what I'm using for camera stuff now, some of you guys might be kind of interested. Have a GoPro. It's a Hero 3. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up, probably set it maybe on the edge of this table and have it point down or wherever I'm working. And then what I do is I set it to take pictures. Now, I set it to take pictures depending on how long I'm planning on welding. So if I'm planning on welding for, let's say, a half an hour, and um, usually the typical Time lapse is about 300 to 500 pictures, so half an hour, 30 minutes times 60 is 1800. So I'm gonna wanna take one picture about every 10 seconds, and that will give me six, 
I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I might do more. Anyways, just thought some of you guys might be interested in how I do some of the stuff that I shoot. And then I'm just using a Sony little handheld camera. Obviously, I can't show you that, but that's that. <laughs> Got these headlight buckets mounted here. You can see what I used was just a regular half-inch heim. And then I, uh, instead of having a greaser there, I put a set screw. Now, I'm actually going to have to add another set screw because this still... Even with that set screw tight, it doesn't really hold it as tight as I'd like. You can still move it a little bit, you can see that. Uh, so I need to add another set screw, and if that doesn't hold it, then I'll put them to where they need to be, and I'll just tack weld the uh, heim so it's not technically a heim anymore. Um, but I have that bolted into the frame. There was actually a half inch tapped hole in the frame already on each side. Instead of using these original mounts, I used the Himes, and then I just uh, actually took a fine nut. I don't know if you can see that. See, there's a jam nut, and then there's a fine thread nut that I actually welded onto the headlight cup, onto that riveted plate, which is, the riveted plate is right here. The original riveted plate, so it goes and threads into that, and then you put all the whole assembly onto here. Works out pretty decent, I think. Uh, it'll give me some adjustability options. Um, and then it's the same regular standard 7 inch bulb that you'd find on say like a C10 or anything really in the 60s. Uh, so I'll order those bulbs up in 12 volt, throw them in there. Uh, you can see there's some nice patina going on here. Got a little bit of moss which is cool. Has these tags on it. So that's that. Got that done. Another thing to check out the list. And then over here, you, can, you notice my charge piping is all off. I primed and painted my charge piping uh, with some high temp paint actually from a grill, like grill paint. Like you know, like a barbecue grill. That's silver and I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it that color or I might do a little secret trick and use some fabric here and put a design on it. So uh, you might have to wait and see what I come up with there. Uh, let's see what else, slowly chipping away at stuff. I got my brake lines done. Ah, oh, shit. Motherfucker. God damn it. <laughs> well, there's another blooper. Uh, I got my brake lines done. They look all right, it'll work. Goes to the line lock, and then the brake lines go all the way back. To the floor, blah, 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 blah. Up to the front, no big deal, just brake lines. So that's finally all done with the Willwood setup. Uh, and then I actually have a little bundle here of nitrous, water methanol, vacuum lines, and the brake line. So that'll all be bundled up in a stainless sleeve when that's done. Uh, I guess that's about it. Taking my time, making the details, and hoping for SEMA next year, so gotta make it right. Got these charge pipes painted silver. I think they look pretty dope, so I might just leave them like this. I was gonna make them look kinda like a carbon fiber. Uh, using that wrap that I'd show you guys, that fabric, which is just actually a uh, mesh screen off of a hunting blind to keep mosquitoes out. Uh, and then I have the BD stainless exhaust manifold, so that'll eventually turn like a blue color, like blue and orange. And then this I will take and I'll wrap it with some heat wrap that I have, because anything after the turbo you want to kind of maintain the heat, uh, the thermal heat, so that it's uh, working the turbos to spool faster and whatnot. So. Uh, that's that. I might actually end up wrapping this eventually too in heat wrap, but I don't think I'm going to do that yet. So I'm down here in the shop fitting up a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, you can see I have my uh, ammo box sat and cleared. And I also mounted my radiator fan. You can see it's like a perfect fit. Which is incredible, uh, <laughs> to be honest. Got that from a junkyard. And then I just kind of trim it to fit. I just got wire ties holding it on up here. And then I made some brackets, which are painted over here, drying. Which bolt. One side is silver, the other side's black. <laughs> they bolt to the radiator mount here, and then they go up to here. So, and this is actually like a tight fitting, perfect fitting fan. So that'll be good. Okay, and then you can see up in here, right in there, you can see the bottom of the training cooler. I have a training cooler that I'm trying to figure out how to mount in here. Originally I was planning on having it mount between running this way, but there's actually not quite enough room. Uh, I figured that'd be a good use of space like that, but for now, um, 
this is probably my best option with what I have. I don't know if you can see it through there. You can, yeah, you can see the black. And then I'm thinking I will make some sort of like a uh, scoop down inside there so that it kind of pushes, makes sure all the air goes where it needs to go because obviously tranny cooling is important on this. The radiator is also important, but not quite as much as the transmission on these. Uh, so I've heard anyways, I guess. And then this radiator also has tranny coolant lines or uh, ports here, which I'll run to, these, to this one first and then run it back or forward to the auxiliary cooler and then back to the tranny. Basically, you want to use the radiator heat to warm up the transmission fluid when, it's, when the tranny's cold and you want the front one to uh, sort of keep everything cool when you're going down the road. That's how I'm gonna do it. I did the same thing in my Nova. Um, let's see, what else here? Got some windows for the house I've been painting too. We painted our house, so that's another hold up. Thanks for watching guys. I'll keep you updated as things progress. Subscribe! 10 Man out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm gonna call pneumonia from yeah. Wyoming. Say hi, Randy. Hi. This here's this piece of shit. Yeah. He calls it a car. But would you look at that? That's a 12 valve pump. Yeah. It's got no downpipe for 50 plus horse. Yeah. Look at this shit. He thinks this is so safe. <laughs> what is that? There's water in your. Hammer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this fucker's using. Awning shit from like yeah. a strip club or something. Look at the baby blue. It's obviously Smurfs That's downtown. Is this magnetic? Whoa! Hold up! Hold up! Hey! <laughs> this is so sad that I'm videotaping this right now. Look at this. this is how. Look at the dedication in filming, guys. Look at that shit. He's got a tripod with six different. That's three, but I count six. With a fucking bolt holding on. Let's find his other shit. Hold on. He's got his, this is like legit almost. I mean, it's PVC pipe. Sure. This is his other pile of junk he's been working on. Look at this bond, Bondo. <laughs> Bondo, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Bondo. This kid's over here rolling fucking power stroke coal. Monster time. Shop overview right here. Spin it, son, spin it. You got this on wide view? Huh? You have this on wide view? Yeah. It's definitely videotaping. There's a video and it's blinking red, which means it's a video. I got a GoPro too, bro. I got you. Look at this round view, this sexy man. Check it out. All the way around. Oh. Hello! <laughs> I don't know what you know, Look at that. There's this fucking fantabulous army. When it doesn't fit, he just crams it in. Look at that. Oh my god, it's like a... Look, it's got one ball. Feet, feet the maker of the car. Hey! Precise measuring me. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> that right there is called 37, and who gives a fuck? Cut it. <laughs> I'm gonna get this. <coughs> He's gonna take his um his nice ass cutting wheel. Look at that. It's like from 1433 right there. Oh! Yes, Look at that cut. Looks like my last girl's vagina. What? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Slanted? Hashtag destroyed! <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, it's probably gonna be short. Probably, dude. Oh. <laughs> That's why you measure twice, cut once. There we go. Oh yeah, there you go. <coughs> Look at that! That's almost like it was meant to be, but why is that one over then? Huh? Hmm?
Huh? Your floor is gonna be quite unlevel. No, no, I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna cut the notch it and then get it down. Pick it I'm up. Gonna cut it, it notch it, get it down. Yeah, it's almost like getting it up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh god, I'm gonna clamp one of these to my fucking nipple right now. Is it closed far enough? Yeah, it will. Oh, it's I'm gonna, gonna fucking fall. Well, I'm not gonna do it super tight here. You guys wanna watch? This is for you, crowd. <laughs> This better get a million views because I'm gonna clamp this to my nipple right now. Oh, whoa, way too tight, dude. <laughs> I don't want that tight. I don't want. Oh, fuck, it broke. Hold on, I can fucking fix it. it it's. Oh, there you go. It was just. It's just stuck. Ancient tools. Oh my god, this is gonna hurt so bad. My nipple's gonna like burst open with Hawaiian punch or something. <laughs> Afroman's line right there. Sorry, Afroman, I did not mean to copyright that. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna hurt so bad. That's so good. Ha! Okay. Dude, that's more than the nipple. What the fuck? I'm doing the whole pet because I ain't got none. <laughs> okay, it's on. See that, guys? Look at that. Look! You guys want to see my nipple tassel? I got this nipple tassel from where the zoning piping came from for a scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> Laquisha used it. Laquisha. Shaniqua. Ow! Fuck! That goddamn thing's not a Cummins. Get it right. It's a cum dur stroke. Cummins block, Duramax head, and a power stroke diesel turbo. It's the way to roll. Then people can't be like, oh my god, you drive a fucking Cummins. Yeah. No, you motherfucker, I drive a cum dura stroke. Cum dura stroke my dick. Yeah. <laughs> Luke's down. Yeah. Look at this redneck modifications. Oh shit, camera's going limp. Check these wheels out, okay? I fabricated these myself. I call them the Invisalign. It's kind of like the shit you put on your teeth. Look at that. It's even, it's clear, you can't see shit. No tire needed. And in the front, we rock camber for days. Wait, look at this. Oh yeah, it's about right. Wow.